Novitas Solutions, a CMS contractor, welcomes you to the on-demand education series. This on-demand tutorial is a general summary that explains certain aspects of the Medicare program, but it is not a legal document. The official Medicare program provisions are contained in the relevant laws, regulations, and rulings. The information enclosed was current at the time it was presented. Medicare policy changes frequently. Links to the source documents have been provided within the document for your reference. This presentation was prepared as a tool to assist providers and is not intended to grant rights or impose obligations. Throughout this module, you will see a citation number behind certain elements of information as shown in the example below. This citation number coincides with the transcript document positioned next to the Play Now icon you selected on the Training Videos Click and Play page on the Novitas Solutions website. The citation and associated hyperlink to the resource described in the module will be found on the transcript under footnotes for each slide. Novitas Solutions On Demand Education Series presents PCACE Claim Entry and File Preparation. What is PCACE? PCACE is a free billing software used for entering Medicare Part A and B claims and reviewing or translating acknowledgement reports and remittance advices. Prior to completing the PCACE installation, Providers must verify technical requirements are met for the program and complete the enrollment process. Once the enrollment form is processed, the MAC will issue download instructions and the installation password. Providers must keep this password as it will be required for each quarterly upgrade or new installation. Installation and setup. For guidance on installing and setting up PCAs, Review the PCACE New Installation and Setup module and the PCACE User Guide. In this module, we'll review the claim entry and file preparation processes. The installation and setup steps must be completed prior to creating the claims. Select Claim Processing icon. The PCACE icon, shown here with the lightning bolt, can be opened from the provider's desktop. If the icon is not found on the desktop, the provider may have to search for PCACE in Windows Explorer where it can be found on the C drive. Once the icon is found and opened from the PCACE toolbar, the provider clicks on the applicable claims processing icon, either INST for Part A or PROF for Part B in Dental. This will open the sign-on screen where the provider will type sysadmin for both the user ID and password. Program Tips and Shortcuts before we continue, let's review some helpful program tips which will assist with using PCACE. First, clicking Save on any screen will show all fields that are required with a flashing notification. Additionally, pressing the Escape key will disable the flashing notifications. Also, to identify fields that contain a lookup list, hold the Alt key and press F2. To view the lookup list, press the F2 function key when the cursor is in the field or right-click the mouse over the field. When an item from the list is selected, its value is automatically entered in the field. Additionally, use the page up and page down keys to navigate between major sections of the claim form. The shift key can be pressed while holding down the page up or page down key to navigate on the second level tabs. And last, when entering claim data, use the tab key to move left to right or top to bottom. And use the up arrow and down arrow keys to move up and down through the fields. Claim Processing icon. This is the view the user sees after selecting the applicable claim processing icon. From here, the user clicks the Enter Claims tile to open the claim form. Now let's review entering the claim information and we'll start with Part A. Part A, Patient Information. The user starts by completing all required and necessary fields on the Patient Info and Codes tab. Remember our program tip that the user may click Save on any screen to view fields that are required and press the Escape key to disable the flashing notifications. Part A Billing Line Items The Billing Line Items tab is filled out next, ensuring all required and necessary fields are completed, including the Extended Details tab if needed. 
Part A, Payer Information. The third tab is the Payer Info. The payers will show here from what was entered in the patient setup in the reference file maintenance during the initial entry. If the patient has Medicare as a secondary, both Medicare and the primary should be shown. If the patient has Medicare and a secondary that is not a crossover, both should be shown. If nothing is seen here, the patient wasn't set up correctly and the user may need to close out the claim and set up the patient's information and reference file maintenance. Part A, Diagnosis Procedure. There are two tabs for the diagnosis procedure. The user should ensure when completing all required and necessary fields on these tabs that both tabs are reviewed. Part A, Optional Tabs. The remaining tabs include Extended General, Extended General 2, and Extended Payer. The user completes any necessary fields on these tabs as needed for the claim being entered. Once all information has been entered, the user clicks Save. This completes the Part A claim entry. Now we'll review the process to create Part B claims. Part B patient information. Like Part A, the user starts by completing all required and necessary fields on the patient info and general tab. Remember our program tip that the user may click Save on any screen to view fields that are required and press the escape key to disable the flashing notifications. Part B, insured information. The second tab is the insured information. This is similar to the tab for Part A. The payers will show here from what was entered in the patient setup and reference file maintenance during the initial entry. If the patient has Medicare as a secondary, both Medicare and the primary should be displayed. If the patient has Medicare and a secondary that is not a crossover, both payers should be displayed. If nothing is seen here, the patient wasn't set up correctly and the user may need to close out the claim and set up the patient's information and reference file maintenance. Part B, Billing Line Items. The Billing Line Items tab would be filled out next, ensuring all required and necessary fields are completed, including the Extended Details tab if needed. Complete any necessary fields on the Billing Line Items tab, including the Extended Details tab if needed. Part B Optional Tabs. The remaining tabs include Extended Patient General, Extended Patient General 2, and Extended Payer Insured. The user completes any necessary fields on these tabs as needed for the claim being entered. Once all information has been entered, the user clicks Save. This completes the Part B claim entry. Billing line item shortcuts. Now that we've reviewed entering claims information, let's discuss some shortcuts for entering line item information. Starting with the deleting content. If a user needs to delete content, they can use the escape key to cancel the contents of a field on most claim form fields. Next for repeating or copying information. To repeat or copy all values, the user can use the F5 key to copy the value of all fields on the previous line except the date of service to the current line. Or if the user needs to repeat or copy specific values, use the F4 key to copy a specific field from a previous line to a current line. For moving from line to line, the user can use the up down arrow keys or press page up or page down while holding the Alt key to scroll from one page at a time. And last, to delete a line, the user can use the F7 key. Save claim and correct errors. When all claim information has been entered and the user clicks save, if errors exist on the claim, the edit validation errors list window will appear. Fatal errors are indicated on the errors list with a red X. A save with errors option is available when claims do not have fatal errors. The user can double click on the error to jump to the error on the claim form to make the corrections. Once corrections are made, the user can click save or the error list button to view any additional errors. The claim entry process for part A or part B is repeated for any additional claims. Prepare claim file. Once all claims are entered and saved, the user clicks the prepare claims tile on the claims menu. Prepare file for transmission. 
Once the user selects prepare claims, there are several steps to take to complete in preparing the file for transmission that we are not able to display in this module due to security and privacy purposes. First, the window will open to prepare for transmission. The user clicks the prepare claims button and then clicks OK to confirm. Then the user needs to correct any errors if necessary and click OK when complete. After clicking OK, the user clicks View Results to view a transmission detail report. To print this report, the user can click on the printer icon at the top of the report window and then click on Close to exit this report. This completes the steps in the claim file named trans.dat for Part A or transb.dat for Part B is now created. The file will be in the user's C or other local drive under Win PCA's folder. All claims prepared have been removed from the claim list in PCAs. Resources. There are several PCAs resources found on our website, including user guides, quick steps, and training modules. These resources can be located from the left menu by selecting PCA software under Electronic Billing EDI. Also, a complete help manual is available within the PCA software program. Additional guidance in PCA's user guide. One of the resources listed is the PCA's user guide. This is a very helpful resource if the user is looking for specific guidance for performing tasks in PCA's. Listed here are some focused topics and the related sections in the user guide where the information can be found. EDI Help Desk. The EDI Help Desk is another valuable resource. The JH EDI Help Desk can be reached by calling 1-855-252-8782 and selecting option 3. And the JL EDI Help Desk can be reached by calling 1-855-235-8073 and selecting option 3. Our providers can also reach our Novatosphere Help Desk by calling 1-855-880-8424. Thank you for attending. We encourage you to visit our website at www.novitas-solutions.com to access additional on-demand resources or participate in our educational events. Visit our Learning Center to access the most current Medicare education.